I'm going to show you how to transfer files from one server to another server. I haven't found many cPanel videos out there on this topic, so I hope that you will find this very convenient. So what you'll need to have access to is the WHM, which is the cPanel main administrative panel. Now, there are several transfers options that you can do. You can copy an account from another server, which basically means one domain name. Or you can copy multiple accounts, multiple accounts meaning multiple domain names to your server. So go ahead and click that and you'll be forwarded here. Uh, the only thing you need is the IP address of the old server that you're copying the files from. Paste that in there and you need to make sure that your SSH port is correct. Otherwise you're going to get an error message like that. So make sure you change the SSH port. If you don't know what that is, your web host would probably provide it to you. Most of the time it is port 22. Click on root, then click on password. Basically what you're doing here is you're typing in your password for your WHM panel. If you have another username, then you can click on user. Once you do that, WHM, the web host manager, is going to show you the packages as well as the domain names. As you can see here, I've got several domain names that I'm using here. So I want to check the packages link. But the only checkbox that I really need to click are the ones that are left to the domain names. In this example, I'm going to choose memberstep.com. You can choose select all if you want. Or different things. I'm just going to choose member snap, click on copy, click on OK, and that's it. Now, what WHM is doing right now is it's copying the files from my other server. So it's copying an exact replica. So this is what I like about this feature here it'll copy the exact replica, usernames, passwords, databases. Anything you set on your other server is going to go on this server. So you don't have to worry about resetting up the databases, resetting up permissions, and all that. It'll give you an exact replica so that when you switch the DNS from the other server or your domain registrar, you switch it to your new server, everything's going to work perfectly if you do it correctly. So as you can see, it's transferred member snap over already and it's done it pretty quickly. The only thing you need to know is that it'll take more time if your file or your domain name has lots of files. Let's say one of my domain names has 10 gigabytes. So to transfer that, it took me about an hour, two hours, or three hours. So maximum probably take three to four hours maximum, depending on how big your hard drive is or how, many, how much space you're actually using. So if you're using 100 gigs, it might take even half a day. So what I do is just do that and just walk away or do something else. Uh, you probably don't want to do too much to your browser because you don't want your own computer to crash. So that's one thing to note. Um, as you can see here, I'm taking a look at memorsnap.com and it worked. And that's it for this video. I hope you learned something new and good luck on your transfers.